Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be jumping into crafting some of the max gear score items in the game. That's going to be 600 gear score legendaries as a possible crafted gear here, and we're going to cover that all in just a second. So if you want to stay up to date with more New World, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, let's get into it. All right, guys, so you heard me. We are doing a lot of crafting today. We are going to be using God X for our armor, and then when it comes down to jewel crafting, we are going to be using a guy named Fire FireFX. So thanks to both you guys in advance for jumping in and taking, uh, or really helping me out, you know, crafting some of the high, highest tier or highest level gear score in the game. You know, 600 being that legendary material, uh, or legendary gear, I should say. And, you know, at 600 gear score, your item turns legendary and that's one of the things that we are always shooting for with our minimum gear score being right I believe around 594 9 595 uh, because we have you know all the trophies on three different houses we have all of the best gear because of fire effects and god x sharing their you know trophies and uh, you know making this work we are going to have a very very good chance at some high level gear i'm talking high 590s and 600 gear score legendary so we're going to jump through every single crafted gear today you can see the first one we crafted is a very very solid boot this is going to be a intelligence plus 24 boot we actually rolled intelligence mainly there we didn't actually roll craft mod because i wanted to fill some slots you know i had some slots that needed filled with intel uh, over you know i think i had dexcon on my boots before uh if you guys don't know i usually go a 300 intelligence 50 dexterity and the rest constitution build another great uh roll here actually pretty decent 24 intel 598 gear score it has luck and siphoning incinerate could have been better passives we are looking for more pvp gear so we're not too worried about luck right now but um you know not terrible roll at all and we may sell that later on if we find something better and then we are going to move on to things like uh crafting really specific to uh fireball effect or sorry fireball impact damage percentage right now that perk is not working uh you know a lot of people have tested it I haven't actually tested myself. I've heard it so many times that the fireball perk is not working, but I still want to grab one myself. Here he's crafting a few pillar of fire or pillar of refreshing fire for himself. I thought you guys could watch this too because he gets pretty unlucky. You know, nine decks, 14 focus twice in a row. Definitely not what you want to see happen. Um, and not insanely high gear score compared to what he's rolled in the past. This is actually his best one by far. Has freedom, which is pretty solid uh, as a perk if it is working. Obviously, like we said, a lot of perks not working right now. But a 599 full and or sorry full decks and con which are both useful when it comes to uh really intel builds in general so you can see that crafting is definitely going to be a part of the late game when you come into this late game you're going to be wanting those 600 legendary crafts or you know 590 or five high 590 crafts uh, obviously that's going to be something that a lot of us are shooting for because unfortunately 600 gear score doesn't seem to be very easy to get in the game right now off of drops it's going to be mainly crafting so max level crafting is going to be something you want to take advantage of and that's exactly what you guys are going to see here in a little bit when i do get a 600 legendary gear score uh i believe it's a helm that i get or a hat so you guys will be able to see that here in a second but there's just a lot of fun rng kind of uh you know it is kind of gambling in the game obviously not high stakes or anything as it's not real money but um there's definitely a little bit of gambling in the game here you can see that you know you don't know what craft mods or sorry what perks are going to actually roll on the items and you don't know what attributes or you know attributes are going to roll as well so depending on what you take you can always figure out you can always you know main uh, I just want intelligence here. I don't care about the perks or I just want this perk. I don't care about these stats and the rest of it's all random. So that's going to be something that you'll see in the future. Here's a nice actually roll for the fireball impact. It's going to be 14 intel about nine con, which is fairly solid. Um, here, I believe we are about to craft the legendary. And this is one of those, like I said, exciting, exciting moments in the game. There it is. The 600 gear score plus 25 intel reinforced mining luck, energized rending throw and reinforced durability increase. So probably the worst perks I possibly could have gotten for a PVP hat, but you are going to take that 25 per, or sorry, that 25 stat bonus. So we're going to get, I think, I think it was 15 intel. 10 decks as our stat primaries there. So a very, very solid roll overall. That's going to be the legendary that we did get during this roll. However, there's going to be jewelry next. And like I said, this is going to be fire effects helping me out this time around. Some of the best gear in the game coming from 
you know, crafting, like I said, and this is going to be an example of a fairly solid ring. If people are going, uh, you know, more of a strength focus or like a paladin build, they have the crit chance there. And, you know, keen awareness is what I was rolling specifically here, trying to get a decent roll with the keen awareness, because all I need is a dex ring or a con ring or an intel ring with keen awareness and the rest I don't really care about. So that's going to be the main focus as he's crafting me more as modium settings so he can craft me some more rings and more uh, more jewelry in general. We are going to have a very, very solid strength constitution roll here in just a second as well. If you guys are big great axe hammer users, tell me in the comments if you guys would have loved to have this roll. I mean, I am going to probably be selling this one for 10 to 15k uh, on the trading post as soon as possible because, you know, like I said, more and more people getting more and more money, more and more crafts being made. All of this stuff is going to continue to go down in value. But right now, this is some of the best gear in the game for sure, for sure. So we are about to craft. I believe we're going to start with an amulet. Uh, we'll see exactly what happens here. But we do jump back and go into Intel. So it looks like we're focused on getting Intel as our primary attribute. And this is going to be a pristine onyx amulet. So this is not quite that strength constitution ring quite yet. But there's some great, great gear that you will be seeing here in the jewelry crafting. So we get... Plus 24 intel, we get a void protection and mana recovery. Mana recovery is not too bad, but overall, this is not an insane amulet, but it is much better than the one I'm currently wield wielding. I think it's like a 510 maybe that I'm wield wielding right now because watermark on jewelry, you guys know, that takes forever to bring up. So jewelry is going to be such an important part in your server. Uh, I do want to say we are on Cresselia. So if you're on Cresselia, maybe hit up Firefox, maybe hit up GodX on the server. They might be able to help you out crafting some good stuff. So here you see Mana Toast and Engineer Mastery, unfortunately going to be the perks I grabbed there. So not too great. I will say, guys, for the most part, I'm shooting for Refreshing Toast. Refreshing Toast is a huge, huge, huge bonus. It's going to give you 22-second cooldowns when it comes to potions instead of 30 seconds. So that's going to be the perk that we're really shooting for here. Here you see a pretty solid roll, right? So it's Intel. However, the perks are unfortunately pretty bad. Arcane Damage, maybe in the future, if uh, you know we do have Void Gauntlet doing Arcane Damage, that's going to be something that we could equip for that extra damage. But for the most part, not a great combo there for that Onyx Ring. But we have more to craft. I believe so let me see here I think we trade uh we trade here we trade the jewelry back and back and forth here I think we have one more craft though um I think it's going to be that strength constitution ring that I really want to show you guys that are into strength constitu constitution as he kind of gives us another overview of what we crafted there not bad altogether you know it's going to be high intel high gear score so it will have a place in the future and I think we actually go back to this legendary craft now actually or no here we go here we go this is exactly what we wanted so this is going to be the strength constitution um ring that i was talking about so look at this thing 595 which is an insane gear score but pretty high and then we have the crit chance 14 strength 9 con and then we have leeching so 1.4 percent of your damage as health every time uh you know you do damage you get some health back as well so just really really solid ring there let me know what you guys think about this kind of thing of you know these crafting videos thanks again guys i'll see you all in the next one